What's up, you two? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another battle video. Today, we're going to be using a team called Stealing Wins with my boy Kino. Say hi. What is up, guys? So, we're still streaming from our last session. We still have our Patriots gear on, and God, I hope they didn't lose, or I'm going to look really <laughs> dumb. But uh, <laughs> this this team, Stealing Wins, you want to you wanna take us through this? Sure. So this is a, a trapping style team. Um, trapping has gotten a lot worse since Doug Trio was banned a couple months ago, uh, which rip, my favorite team was like, it, it, whatever. But anyways, um, this team's actually really similar to the team that I liked with Doug Trio a lot. We have a Lolan Golem here to trap and kill any steel types such as Heatran, Celesteela, hopefully. I'm, I'm actually not sure how much Wild Charge does to Celesteela, but yeah, Heatran, Celesteela, Ferrothorn, because we got Fire Punch, uh, Scizor, things like that. Traps and kills them, and when those are gone, like, what is the Tapu Lele switch in? We have a Specs Tapu Lele with both Psychic and Psyshock to hit on both times. Moonblast to hit those Dark types, and Focus Blast, which hopefully we'll never have to click because no one ever hits that move. The rest of the team just kind of supports that. We have a very defensive backbone between the Zapdos, Assault Vest Magirna, and specially defensive Gastrodon, so we don't get 6 0 by Ash Greninja. And we have a uh, pretty uh, defensive, more or less, yeah, defensive, but like Fly MZ Landorus with Stealth Rock and HP Ice, I guess, to, to get rid of. Um, Tang growth is what I'm assuming. So, okay. So that's the gist of the team. We're gonna see how many steel types we can trap with this. Um, this is a team that Pokemon built, like the last yes, one we used. However, uh, the Tapu Lele beforehand was a Reuniclus, but I really wanted to try this with Tapu Lele because it just hits so much harder and also it's faster. So it's a lot easier to to sweep with this Pokemon, especially late game. <laughs> you so, said that after Roost. Yeah. After so roost, you know how when you Roost, you lose your Flying typing for that turn, right? Okay. So when you're, before you roost, when you're electric flying, you're weak to ice and rock. So you saw he ice punched us there and right. it did super effective damage, right. which was about 37%. Now, if we roosted, we would have lost our weakness to ice type because we wouldn't be flying anymore. We would only be electric. Mm. So the Ice Punch would have done significantly less damage. Right. He would have continued to take Rocky Helmet damage, and then we could have knocked him out the next turn with Discharge, but we would have had more HP than if we just clicked Discharge instead of Roost. Mm, so how long has Roost done that? Since it's it always... came out. Oh, well. Yeah, that's, since Gen 2. See, that shows you what the <laughs> point of these videos are. Okay, so this yeah, time... No worries. This time we right, have this a... This guy has a Ferrothorn and a Cart... Well, the Cartona, not so much, but the Ferrothorn, that's what I like to see. Um, All kinds have, of hazards here. Yeah, um, but the golem does trap and kill the Ferrothorn with the um, with mm, Fire Punch. Gotcha. Tyranitar's really annoying though, because that thing can eat up Moon Blasts. That thing can definitely eat Moon Blasts. But we're Specs, so we should eh, we should be able to it, KO. Um, anyways, uh, he's got a Kartana, but once again, we have the best Kartana check in the game, which is Zapdos. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like to lead here? <laughs> Uh, so, uh, a little more. His his potential leads are Tyranit probably Tyranitar, Ferrothorn, Clefable, because those can all get up hazards. Um, I think Magirn is actually a very good choice because you have coverage for all of those, and you can also Volt Switch out on matchups you don't like. Magirna is going to be really nice for checking the, um, the Hoopa. So this is really good. We can Volt Switch here, and one of two things will happen. One, he's either going to stay in with Ferrothorn, meaning we, we can trap him with Golem. Golem. Right. Or two, he switches, but we see what he switches to, so we can right. play off that. Ooh, that's he stays okay. Into... So we can get rid of this Ferrothorn right now by Straight going. Straight to Golem. As he puts up his rocks, I hope... Hey, man, I hope you enjoy those rocks, because you're about to catch this Fire Punch. I don't think Fire Punch Okos, by the way, but it should still do... It should be a very easy 2 KO. Yeah. Ferrothorn's got... re really thick. My guy Brock isn't very strong. Ooh, he a lot. Just We're okay that. with this trade move. We're okay with the trade. Looting, losing Golem for Ferrothorn is fine. Because now he doesn't have a good Moonblast switch in. Kartana is a steel type, but its special defense is so low that Moon and Specs Moonblast will just blow that thing back. So we're super down for this trade. Um, he also might not know that we're Scarf. He goes Tyranitar. He probably knows we're Scarf, but I think honestly we can. Hmm. 
So we, we could sack the golem, but I have a, a hunch that this is going to be Mega Dragon Dance. So we don't want to Fire Punch because that's going to give him free setup. I think we should actually go hard Landorus on this thing. Hit him with that Intimidate real quick. Plus we'll be able to save Golem as um, as Sack Fodder if we need a free switch yeah, into something later. Right. So that's always good. And he is Mega. Oh, he goes oh. straight for Ice Punch. Oh, all right, he got us. The crit mattered to be honest, but he, hey man, he made the play. He got it. But uh, hey, some, hey man, sometimes they get it. That's that's kind of the reason I wanted to stay in, but I don't think we could have afforded to let him set up. So, um, now I go melee and click focus blast. You could, yeah, if you want to risk that, you can definitely do that. That <laughs> I mean, what's the that, what's the smarter play? So I can so I have two options to choose from. <laughs> it's that, or you can go Magirna and fire off a floor cannon. That should be able to pick up the me pick off the Mega Titar. And because he's intimidated, even if he has Fire Punch, we shouldn't take too much damage from it. It'll still do a decent chunk, but not too much. You could also Volt Switch predicting um, the Clefable. That is a play you could make. That would be pretty nice, actually. Mm. But if he just stays into Fire Punch or Earthquake, I'd be a little sad. So I'll let you make that decision. The Floor well, Cannon... He predicted the... Uh... He, he predicted, predicted the Landorus, the Landorus oh, yeah, yeah. so I think he's... He's, he seems to be intelligent, so if he thinks that Fleur Cannon is coming, then I should Volt Switch. Then Volt Switch, right. Nice, he makes the switch to Zapdos. That's some free momentum right there. That did nothing, wow. Um, man, I wish we could get Rocket to this game. I think you can... Hmm, let me, real quick, I want to check to see how much Lele's Moonblast does. We can't, we're literally not allowed to click Psychic this game until his two Dark types are dead. Um, okay, so well, actually, really until his Tyranitar is dead. That's that's the bigger threat. Open up Lele, let's see if I can, if I can pull this up. Again, Zapdos. Um, oh, Moonblast does a nice amount of damage. Yeah. Like, Psychic kills it. But he's got the the T tar. He doesn't hit us back with anything. The only thing we'd be risking is the paralysis from discharge. He ain't getting no paralysis on me. He ain't getting no paralysis. All right, let's <clears throat> hit him with that moon blast. Let's show this guy what's up. Moon blast. It, it's also. Oh no, I can't kill. He's left, after leftovers. Never mind. Okay, if we don't get the paralysis, then uh, or if he doesn't get the paralysis, then we get a kill. Or do I pre wait, 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 wait. Do I do not predict click. him predicting me to predict him and nope. click Focus Blast? <laughs> nope, because his switching would be Clefable anyways. His switching, like, should be Clefable. So I Moon Blast. So yeah, we, me? I mean, we, yeah, Moon Blast. We could Psychic if you really wanted to predict that. Oh, we crit him, that works. Oh, well, um, okay, cool. Thanks, we thanks Lele. We could have, yeah, right. Lele's a beast. We could have psychic if we really wanted to, um predict the Clefable, but I wouldn't Psychic with Mega Titar around. Uh, he's got Kartana now. Yeah, um, like Zapdos is the play? <sighs> yeah, because yeah, it goes Zapdos. Use, I was thinking of maybe just sacking Golem, but... He's gonna use Smart Strike. Or, do I, or, do yeah, I, we'll, or is this the sack Golem turn? I it's gonna happen eventually. When when Titar comes in, that's when we want to sack Golem. Because we don't have a good switching for Titar. Got it. Let's see if he throws off a Z. That could be annoying. Nope, just smart strikes. Okay, cool. Can we get a paralysis? Nope. All right. Honestly, I would I would just roost here. I we need to keep Zapdos healthy for uh, for a couple things. As he goes straight to Titar. We're gonna find out now if this has pursuit, but I would definitely sack the uh, golem here. Goodbye, golem. Let's see what he went for. As he uh -oh. dragon dances. That's that's not too bad though. That might be really bad. Um, <laughs> Gastrodon for the yeah, Gastrodon. Skull? Yeah, Gastrodon should be able to eat a hit. We can potentially burn him with the Scald. It should also put him. Well, no, TV is faster. Um, yeah, with Scald. Potentially burn him. You haven't seen my team play. Yeah. <laughs> can we get a burn? He crit you. Oh, Ooh, I don't know. I think he might have stolen your luck a little. Okay, so is that a, is that our first L? Potentially. It depends how much Magirna is going to take from the Earthquake or Fire Punch. We could so, still be okay, but I, I would just Scald here again. All right, now we go Magirna, and we just we hope that this dies. <laughs> Wait, to uh, Floor Cannon? Yeah, um, yeah, it's Floor Cannon. Oh, we are living, Magirna, my girl. It's genderless, <laughs> yeah. but whatever, you know what I mean. Oh, right. Magirna's so, a girl. It's, it's okay. Yeah. 
So the biggest threat to our team is gone. Thank God. He goes Hoopa. Um, oh, this is Z-Snatch. That's kind of annoying. I think we have to sack Magirna, though. I think we just go for Flur Cannon. Actually, no. Go. Sorry, go for Iron Head. What am I saying? All right, we died anyways. Don't worry about it. Didn't matter. That would have been a misplay if he didn't attack, but... Um... Ah, uh, does Moon... Specs Moonblast... We are faster. Yeah, I think we... Yeah, we have to go... We have to go Lele and we have to Specs Moonblast. It should to... It should kill Kartana, to be honest. Yeah, go for it. Specs Moonblast that boy. Well, I guess technically Hoopa's also genderless, but you know what I mean. Uh, Hoopa's a boy. <laughs> that genderless boy. <clears throat> All right, gave us Hoopa. This is still really scary, though, because Cortana, man. We have to go back to Zapdos, but this is the reason, this turn right here, this is the reason we roosted with Zapdos before. So we should be able to come in, even with rocks, take any hit it wants to go for. I'm guessing that's Scarf also. Um, should I roost again? Much yeah, I'd roost again. See, I figured he'd go Clefable, but that's fine. I see no reason why not why we can't go hard Lele, and now we can click Psychic. We'll have another turn of Psychic Terrain also, so that should be good. See, Moonblast us. That does uh. good damage. That's fine. Okay. Ah, uh, Psychic or Psychic. All right, we, we have no way of knowing if this is defensive or specially defensive. I would click Psychic just because it's higher base power. Oh! Oh, oh my god. It, oh, that did a lot of damage. All right, we picked the right option. All right, nice. And Zapdos clicks Discharge twice, and we win. Our undefeated anyway. streak continues. He's gonna, he's gonna. This was a good game though. This guy, this guy made it close. But you see how like when we we got rid of Ferrothorn and like what was his switch into Lele? His Clefable took ninety seven percent. Right. So I really, that's why I like these types of teams a lot. And he goes Kartana. I would roost here to be honest. In case he throws off the Z and we miss Heatwave, I would roost here just to see what he wants to go for. As it goes for Sacred Source, that's fine. So just. I wouldn't even, you don't even have to click Heat Wave, just click Discharge till this dies. He's very clearly Choice Scarf. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't Z, because we didn't yeah. see a Z move yet. Right. Oh yeah, he's done. He's done. Yeah. He's done. Hit that he's boy done. with that GG. That was a good game, though. That was a good <laughs> Oh. I was too slow. Alright, I think we got oh, time did. for one more. Alright, let's In do this it. video, let's hit it up. Alright, here we go. We got this. This guy's got a cloister. He has no steel type, so once again, uh, Golem doesn't really have a role this game. So we could lead it and try and pick up a surprise KO. Just like we kind of tried to last time, even though it didn't right, work. Right, right. He's got Porygon too, though, which like infinitely switches into everything, especially because we don't have any knockoff on our team, which is actually really annoying. Did but you, we can you, toxic it with Castrodon. Did you see his name? Lorenzo Popenzo. Two. That's a godlike name. Two. So there's another one of him somewhere. There's another one somewhere. Yeah. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, he leads Cloyster. I don't know. Um, we can just... Let's just wild charge this thing. Ah! Nice. As he goes for a shell smash, that's fine. Um, we're okay with. I think we're okay with Golem dying. To be honest, like let me let me think. We actually need oh. this for anything. Scarf still doesn't outspeed a non-Scarf Lele, um, and he doesn't. We don't do anything to Venusaur. We could Earthquake the Nido King, but I I mean we have a Lele anyway, so like we don't right. really need to. So I think just yeah, just click wild charge. Yeah, that, that's easily going to kill us, but that's fine. No, it won't. Alright. Uh, we don't have priority on this team. That's okay. Um... So, something's going to take a hit. Yeah, it's going to have to be Magirna. Magirna's going to have to take that big hit early. Um... I would, uh... Volt switch? I, I, I just Volt switch here. If he tries to save it and go into Landorus, then, like, fine, whatever. But... That means if he switches out to Lenders, then Cloyster's not really a threat anymore because he won't be able right. to shell smash on anything anymore. So. Right. Oh, he's explosion. That's that's pretty cool. No, oh, we point. got so hard. Let's go. Oh my god. Uh, here comes the monster. Here comes the Needle King. Um, I think Gastrodon should be able to take this on. Oh, oh yeah, cool. especially if he's got flamethrower. I don't know why he didn't earth power, <laughs> but um, once again, hey, if you can scald, go ahead and click scald. Hopefully, if he goes Porygon, hopefully we don't burn it, though, because I would much rather Toxic it. Instead, he says, let me give you my Needle King for free. Nice, I like it. And we got the burn. Cool. Go ahead and uh, hit, him, hit him with an Earthquake now, because he's definitely not going Landers, that's for sure. 
We have Venusaur. Predicted! So, nice. Well, burning this would have been nice, but damage is damage. We're out of here, though. We don't want to stay in on this ever. Um, Magirna's a pretty deep... Eh, we can't really do anything back to Venusaur is the problem. This Pokemon's so stupid. Um, I need to get in Lele so I can Psychic. Right. Uh, you can go Magirna, I think. Because he's probably going to Giga Drain, right? So I'd go Magirna, and well, I would try else? and Volt Switch. What else is Magirna doing in this game? Yeah, it's really just tanking hits. Right. Um, so you can go for the Volt Switch here. If he wants to go into Landorus, then so be it. We can go into our own Landorus. We can also go into our Zapdos and defog Stealth Rocks away. I think our best way of killing this Venusaur is with Supersonic Sky Strike. So we definitely want to keep that in mind. I want to click Ice Beam so bad right now. <laughs> it won't do much to Venusaur, so it's not worth it. He's going to switch to Landorus. Have go, I, hey, hey, but no, if you want to make the play, go for it. You, you, you could be right. I could totally I'm, see him switching to Landorus as well. McGearn already Volt switched. I'm doing it. Yeah. Ah! That's fine, though. That kind of means he's not definitely not going to go Landorus this turn. I think he would have. He should have made the Porygon 2 play, to be honest. But we can go into our Landorus here, and uh, you can either get up rocks or Supersonic Sky Strike. Your call. Uh, I've seen how important rocks are, so we'll do that. Good, good choice because he went into uh, Porygon too, and that wouldn't have done anything. Um, we can go. I think Gastron walls this pretty well, and we can potentially toxic Porygon too, and that will be big. Toxicing Porygon too will be amazing. As he tries to toxic us, I would have taken that trade though, to be honest. But I won't take it now. <laughs> now that he's missed, we're out of here. <laughs> now we go into our uh, Magirna. <laughs> The second off? Gast he's gonna toxic and then we'll be able to volt switch oh, or ice right. beam if you want to try to make the play again Ooh, you smart i think he's i think he's i think he's gonna try and just attack though to be honest uh you, you your call though your call oh wow he's faster wait is that normal whatever i don't really know porygon speed here too well to be honest but um it let me see how much yeah. let me see how much says, we're this gonna... is 240 speed i'm at 149 <laughs> The um the Magirna? Yeah. Yeah. I thought Porygon was slower. So I'm one we get yeah, I guess either way we don't want to use our Z move yet. Um I wonder how much Psychic does to this. Either way, it shouldn't be able to hit us back too hard. So if you want to go Lele and just click Psychic and try and claim one, probably not a bad idea. I highly doubt he has try attack. His last move should be recover. Something is gonna get hurt. Okay, I was Ooh. Hey, he's dead. Yeah, his last move is recover. He, that's not enough to live the next one, though. So we, we're going to pick up a kill here. Because Specs Lele does not give a crap. Regardless, e even if he switches, something's dead this turn. Exactly. Exactly. And I that's, think that's, that's another kinda, W. That's always the position you want to put yourself in. Oh, I Lele's going to take a that. decent amount. Yeah, but still going to hurt. Um, Honestly, he can, he'll can he only outspeed us if he's Scarf. And I don't think we need that much HP on Lele. So you can just click Psychic again. Oh, he's Shadow Ball. Whatever, that, that actually did less than our Psychic did. So, his Lele is gone, and that Pokemon was definitely a threat. Um, yeah, this, this game's over. I'm just gonna say he, it now. I wonder, he goes into Landorus. We haven't seen what kind of Landorus this is. Um, so I'm kind of wary of this being Scarf. I Because Lele is so good, and we have a Zapdos, I would honestly just play it safe and go into Zapdos for now. So he clicks mm. knock, so that's whatever. Alright, well now tail. it doesn't all right, now we win for sure. Now it doesn't matter. We've seen that his Needle King is not choice scarf because he switched up moves on us. And even if his Landers is scarf, we will outspeed with Psychic. I'm just gonna check real quick to see how much damage we do to a defensive Landers, which this probably is at this point. Um and Psy yeah, Psychic kills it. So next time we get Lele in, we just click Psychic uh four times and the game ends. So um you, you can make whatever play you want right now. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, heat wave is Nice. Yeah, this game's nice over. Para. This game's over. Yeah. Kino, you don't have Kino any broken. real reason to uh, to save this. Honestly, you don't even need rocks up either. I would I would defog these so Lele doesn't have to take the damage. Get rid of these rocks and then uh and then kill this. Like I'd rather be there be no rocks than both rocks because rocks aren't doing too much for us at this point when Lele just sweeps his team now. So he's gonna U-turn. I guess he could go Venusaur. Oh, he's going to go Porygon and try and heal up. Um, I wouldn't go hard Lele, because that can still be risky. I would go, at this point, I would go probably... Hmm. Honestly, 
You can either go for discharge. discharge and check the discharge damage, or you can go Landorus and uh, hit him with the Supersonic Sky Strike. Actually, let's do that. Let's go Landorus and Supersonic Sky Strike. Because also, if he Ice Beams this turn, he'll kill Landorus, but that's fine because you'll get a free switch to Lele and the game will end because he'd be at low HP still. So go ahead and Z move this boy, and that should be that should set us up for a GG. He's going to knock us out with Ice Beam. Porygon yep. 2 is crazy bulky. Yeah, Eviolite plus a very high defensive stat. Right. But now we go into Lele and we win with Psychic. So, good game to our opponent. Yeah, again, we already know he's not Scarf. Because he's changed up moves on us. So you just click Psychic three times. And his Landorus also isn't Scarf now either, since he went for knockoff and U-turn. Um, but even if it was, we're faster due to the paralysis. So... This game is over. So this this begs the question that if I if I was if I did these battles on my own, what would my record be? Sorry, can you say that again? Your mic actually cut out a little bit. I was just saying that it would be uh, if I did these battles on my own, what would the record have been? Oh, you would win. You would win for sure. You just got to stick to the game plan, and you got to just make the safe plays. Right. You gotta, that's the. You got to like the whole idea here was just set ourselves up that Lele could come in and win the game for us, and that's kind of that was like the goal we played in mind. And then you just have to remember to like always avoid the the big threats on his team that can kind of put a dent in our game plan. Right. Cool. Basically, well, just push the right buttons. Yeah. Right. So that's gonna wrap up this battle episode using stealing wins. Another what was it? Three O, two O, whatever we did. We I think it was a three O this episode. Yeah. Another three O. Surely that will that will. That won't happen forever, but uh, <laughs> if you did have fun and if you learned something during this video, go and hit the thumbs up down below and do consider hitting the subscribe button to join the domination. Kino, yeah, thank you once again for joining us. My pleasure. And we will see you guys in the next battle video. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.